Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be talking about how to create a long form article with ChatGPT. In the last video, I showed you how to do a very quick listicle article, but in this video, I wanted to show you that there are additional steps if you want to create something about a more complicated topic. So the first thing we have to do is we have to find a keyword and there are several ways that you can do this. But personally, what I like to do is I like to find a keyword that is associated to the business that I am writing for and then put that into Google. For example, attire. So attire is um, another way to say dress or dress code. Okay, I write for a fashion company, so attire, and then you can write something like attire for and you can see already there are some keywords that are coming up. Attire for interview, that could be a good keyword. Uh, attire for a passport photo, I guess that could be an okay keyword. Attire for wedding, attire for funeral, attire for Broadway show, etc, etc. So let's say we wanted to write an article about how to dress for a funeral or attire for a funeral. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the chat prompt thing that I showed you in the last video, but that I will show you again. and. Basically, this is a Chrome tool. This time in this video, I'll leave a link to the Chrome tool in the um, in the description. I didn't do that last time, and a lot of people were asking me how to find it. It's this one here. Uh, download it, and then open ChatGPT, make a ChatGPT account, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically, we want to find the prompt for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tie for funeral. I'm going to press go and then it's going to create a box etc etc but i actually don't want to use the box i want to just get the uh the prompt that this is using but i am curious what's going to happen with this anyway it's already writing about women we don't sell women's clothing so it's already pointless for me so we're going to stop generating here this is going to save or it should save click in the new chat here okay so this has saved this will give you a big old prompt just like this, okay? So we've now found the keyword, which is funeral attire for men. Engineered chat GPT to write good content, okay? So let's have a look how we do this. Okay, so first of all, we can ignore previous instructions, that's fine. I want you to respond only in English. I want you to act as a market research ex expert that speaks and writes fluent English. Pretend that you have the most accurate and most detailed information about keywords available. Okay, so we actually want to program it to be a stylist. Pretend that you are, I want you to act as a fashion expert and blogger for men that speaks and writes in fluent English. This is fine, this is fine. Pretend that you are able to develop a full SEO blog post in fluent English. I will give you the target keyword attire for a funeral. There we go. From this keyword, create a, an entire blog post. Okay, we can get rid of most of the rest of the stuff because it's just telling them to uh, create the table, which is not what we need. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that into a new chat on GP, chat GPT. And then I'm gonna say, give me a title and meta description for this post. You might think this looks like it's taking longer than it would if, um, if, if you just did it manually, but it's really not. This is much quicker, trust me. And you don't actually have to think at all as well, which is nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a new Google document. This is gonna be the actual article itself. And every time we want to be doing control shift V or command shift V so that you paste without any uh, weird formatting, which chat GPT may uh, give you. So a couple of important things that you need to respect in an article. Okay, I'm actually going to add this. I'm going to leave this document at the bottom uh, or in uh, the description. Okay, so if you want to check this document out, how I did this, etc, etc, then feel free to check out this document. Okay, so I've just added a little bit of text here. So to rank on Google, you need as much HTML on a page as possible. For example, bold text, internal links, external links, bullet points, lists, H1, H2, H3, heading tags, and much more. Try to include keywords inside this HTML. 
So although ChatGPT has already given me what could be put immediately onto Google, that, that will not rank. This keyword is very competitive. It's a buyer keyword. Well, it's informational, but it's also a buyer keyword. And um, there's a lot of articles about this. So we need to write something that's better, basically. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to say, give me a blog outline for this post. And while that's doing that, I just want to quickly show you that I know what I'm talking about. This website was released probably, I think it was released here or maybe here on the 23rd of November was when we actually went live with Shopify. Uh, I think this was because we were live and then we, we messed something up, etc., etc. But anyway, this is all content written with ChatGPT. Every single word is written with ChatGPT. You can see that the website is growing right now. The, the highest amount of impressions we've ever had is 3.5 thousand. But if I go on uh, the last few days or yesterday, 4.3 thousand, which is another new record for us. So you can see that for a website that's brand new and is in a competitive niche, we are growing pretty quickly. And I wrote an article doing this method just the other day, literally two or three days ago. And you can see it's already on Google. If you stay until the end, I'm going to show you an extra special trick to make sure that you get um, indexed on Google as soon as possible. But for now, as you can see, we've now got our um, outline of our article, which we can already put here if we want, because it will just allow us to understand and we can copy each part into the correct section like this. So now what I like to do is this, remember, this is just to 100% rank on Google. It's not the quickest way to do it, but this is the, the best way to do it if you actually want to rank on Google. So you say, write the uh, right point, and then I'm going to copy and paste this. This should just give me the introduction. I've never done it quite like this before. So maybe I have to give it a bit more detail. No, okay, perfect. So this is a this is an H3 right here, explanation of blah, 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 blah. So we'll just grab this. I don't know if I can, no. So the only problem with the chat GPT is it is kind of slow sometimes, but I definitely would prefer to do this than write this content myself. I get incredibly bored by writing content these days. So these are both H3s. I'm going to make them into H3s. They're not H3s right now. And what that means is I'm going to double click this and I'm going to do H3 here. I'm going to double click this. This is going to be H2. And what this means, what this will do is because I have an automatic uh, chapter plugin for Shopify, it means that it will automatically create a table of contents. Okay. This is also very, very good for SEO. So let me show you exactly what that looks like. Uh, it's this here. Okay. So if I click on one of these, it will go down and it will take me to um, the section that I clicked. That also helps with SEO. Okay, so that's a little bonus tip for you guys. So we can get rid of this. So colors is gonna be our first point, our first major point. So write the paragraphs. This is, this is beautiful stuff, honestly. Explanation of the importance of wearing stark solid colors. That's very true. This is Western funerals, I should say. Uh, examples of appropriate colors, black, navy, dark gray. They're all fine. You could wear any of those colors to a funeral. So that's also accurate. Discussion of colors to avoid, bright colors, graphic tees, etc. That's also accurate. Bright colors you should not wear to a funeral, obviously. Graphic tees you should not wear to a funeral either. Fabrics, explanation of the importance of choosing appropriate fabrics. The fabric of your clothing is important. Should be appropriate for the occasion, show respect, choose the right fabric, will blah, blah, blah. Okay, examples of appropriate fabrics. Wool, cotton, linen. Mm, I would probably change linen with cashmere, to be honest with you. Although cashmere is shiny and it's saying do not wear shiny stuff. So yeah, this is actually giving me some very helpful content that you uh, will probably not find too, it's not like too regurgitated, if that makes sense. Like the way that it's laid it out as well is really, really nice for me. So I'm gonna copy this actually, and I'm gonna put it directly in like that. And then just remember all the time you wanna be formatting. 
while you're doing this as well, like for example, let me just show you what an internal link would be. Um, so if I mention the word suit, yes, suit and tie. So what I would do here is I would highlight the word suit, control P, and then I would, I normally manually, just because I personally think it's quicker than finding the page, but um, I would manually link this into here like that. Okay, so if I go on this page now, you'll see this is our page for suits. Um, so this is what internal linking is as well. Okay, so you want to be doing internal linking all the time. You want to be continuously um, making sure that everything is formatted properly. Just imagine that you're writing like for a newspaper or something like that, and you want everything to be um, nice and neatly laid out. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do, colors is going to be H2, and then these are going to be H3s again, just because I like that kind of tiering of the article. Tiering as in um, like the different levels. So what you can do as well, if you feel like um, this should be a little bit longer because it's really not that long, what you can do is you can say expand on examples of bravery colors, black, navy, blah, blah, blah. And it should give me a lot more content here, which means that I can add more content here, which means I can also rank. I'm not going to add the content now, but you, you get what I mean. It's all about having a conversation with ChatGPT, basically. So once you've done this, let me just remind you guys, this is working uh, for me. I'm ranking. So definitely uh, give this a go if you feel like it, guys. It's such a strong method for doing uh Content writing, it's really, really quick, as you can see. Like, I don't know how long I've been recording. Only 11 minutes, and we have already 565 words. And I'm probably going to leave it here for actually writing the article, because you guys get the idea, I'm sure. You just follow, you just follow the rest of the process. Another thing you need to make sure that you're doing is you could say, give me that again, but using bullet points. So bullet points are really, really good for getting the um, getting the featured snippet, okay, which is this. What uh, color should I wear to a funeral? So this here, this is the featured snippet, okay. Um, bullet points are really, really good for grabbing the snippet. So I do like to use bullet points quite a lot. So you could definitely copy these in as well, um, which will probably help you ranking with your ranking as well. In terms of the actual writing of the article, I'm going to leave it there. Um, you, you can just finish what I was doing, basically. I'll leave this and also this in the description of this video, okay? So, oh, I do need to mention a few other things, first of all, which is that you need to make sure that you have images in your uh, blog posts. So for me, the images are the products, okay? We sell products, so I have a lot of suits in here. Etc. Etc. But you need a featured image, and you need some kind of infographic, and you just need some general content that you can just make on Canva. Make sure that you add images because images will help you rank, and also images will rank themselves on Google as well. The last thing is publishing the article on your CMS. So if you're using Shopify, for example, and you've formatted everything properly with um, internal links and everything. If you're using WordPress as well, you can then just directly copy and paste from here. So what I normally do is I put this in the title, I put this as the meta description, and then I just copy and paste all of the content straight into my CMS. I add the photos, etc., etc. I internally link, and then I'm going to show you the final stage of this, which is submitting to Search Console. So what you want to do, I'm going to have to have an article that isn't already on Google, which I don't know if I have an article that's not already on Google. This is going to be a problem for me. Let me just see if this is already on Google. Okay, of course, all of my articles are already on Google, so I don't even know how I'm going to show you this. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to upload a fake blog post. Okay, so this is the back end of Shopify. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a blog post like this. So this is the title, like I said before. This is the meta description, like I said before, but I didn't actually show you guys. There we go. This also creates a URL. This might be a little bit too long for a URL, to be honest with you, but for now, I'm just going to leave it because I'm going to delete this post after. And then let's just post some of the content like that. 
So as you can see, it's copied the formatting. So these are H2, etc., etc. I'm just going to very quickly put this as visible. I'm not actually going to submit this to Search Console. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So after I've done all of the steps that I showed you before, we're now ready to submit to Search Console. So what I'm going to do is you click on the top of Search Console and you just copy and paste the URL. This will do this, like that. All of this will say ND or NA, probably in English, mine's in Italian. It will say NA, NA, NA. What you do is you click on test, uh, test the URL, test the published URL, whatever it says in English, mine's in Italian. Um, and you're just gonna have to let this load. It normally doesn't take too long, to be honest with you. I, if you're not getting indexed on Google, this is probably why you need to submit your stuff to Search Console. Another good way of getting indexed is taking um, the articles you already have and just very quickly internally linking from them. So like I showed you before, this one is already on uh, Google. So if I then say something like uh, Cesare Artellini shirts are perfect for a funeral, perfect um, for, uh, for funeral attire, let's say, because I know the funeral attire is a very good keyword. So then you just highlight this and then you do that and you link to this and you write funeral attire for men in the link title and then insert the link and then save. I'm not going to actually save this because <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm about to delete this uh, post, but that will also help you get indexed. Once you see this screen where it says tick, 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 you need to click on uh, request uh, in indexing. Request indexing, I'm translating in my head. You click on here and within 12 hours or maybe even eight hours, it will be on Google, okay? I'm not gonna press here. I'm actually just gonna delete that blog post before it messes up my entire system. So let's just actions, delete, delete blog post. But that's your best way of getting onto Google. This method is working very well for me, guys. I promise you, it's, I'm 100% sure this method works. And that's how you write an entire blog post in less than 20 minutes. That will definitely rank on Google. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Peace out.